Okay, so today we're going to be doing a quick uh, demo and review on the Octava MK219 condensed microphone. Uh, this is the 2001R model. Uh, it's got a 10 decibel roll off on the back, which is in Russian. Don't quite know if you can see that. And then it's also got a low end roll off. We're going to be running it through a custom modified 2x12 cab, an orange micro terra 20 watt uh, part valve amp, a Boss NS2 noise suppressor, a TC Electronics damp armor distortion, an RG7421 by Ibanez, and we're running this in a Logic through a Foxrite Scarlet 2x2 interface. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to show you two different mic positions. I'll literally show you what they're going to look like from here. It's going to be one that's going to be side on like this, uh, but it's going to be more towards this side, so it's going to get the side of the speaker, and then one's going to be near enough direct on over the dust cap from the front end. So as we can see from using the two different microphone placements, uh, the second one with the microphone over the speaker dust cap does sound a lot fuller than when it is side on and it just makes it sound a bit more aggressive in the overall sound, especially for metal music. Um, I will eventually try this with different genres of music. Uh, the Octava MK219 is a out of production microphone, but you can pick them up on eBay for around £115. Uh, unfortunately, with the amp that we were using, if uh, we didn't have much control over the tone, so if we had a bit more control over the tone, the, the recording probably would sound a lot crisper and... I do highly recommend this mic, I've used it in live situations, uh, in live recordings, and it always sounds great, so anything else that you'd want to do with it is down to you guys, realistically. If you want to get one, I, I recommend you do get one. I've been lucky enough to be able to borrow this one off a friend, so if you did like the video, please like and subscribe, we will be doing more of these, and um, I've got to say... Big thanks to my friend Tom who gave me a bit of help with uh, the video while I was sorting out other stuff and he set it all up with the lights and everything so big shout out to him and big shout out to Factory Street Studios for letting me use the rooms and the microphones. So if you do like it please hit subscribe and please like this video and share it about. Cheers.